Hi guys, welcome to Bo's Book. My name is Chris, and today we are going to learn an essential part of driving a car, especially if you're a car guy and you want to, you know, get a sports car and it only comes in a standard, or even if, you know, you get put in a situation and you have to know how to drive a standard, let's say to bring someone to the hospital. It's an essential part of life to know how to drive a manual transmission, and today I am very happy to teach you how to properly drive a manual transmission car. So, first, let's start to take a look at, you know, what are the components of a manual transmission car. So the first thing you will notice is you will have a stick shift down to your right. Although some cars may vary on how the stick shift looks, it will basically all be the same. The only differences it may have is where the reverse is and how it gets into reverse. Mine, you push down and go to the far right, and that's my reverse. If you're driving at five speed, it might be all the way to the right and uh, back, and that might be reverse. You just have to pay attention to your slots. Now, mine is a six speed, as you can see. I have six gears, and that is your stick shift. You'll notice the numbers, the number of gearing. You will notice the slots, where the gears go into. And if you guys look underneath, you will see that you have three pedals instead of two. That is because you have your gas pedal, your brake pedal, and then you have your clutch pedal. So before you get started, you want to make sure, you know, you either go to a school parking lot or some parking lot that is flat because we are beginners here. You don't want to be rolling around in neutral. You want to get the gist of learning how to drive a manual. And that is what we're going to do today, how to perfectly start out learning how to drive a manual transmission car. So let's get to it, guys. Get on a flat area and let me teach you how to drive the manual transmission car. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start up your car. I am in a 2001 Audi S4. So you're going to want to put your foot on the brake. You're going to want to brake and then put your foot all the way down on the clutch. It's essential to make sure that your foot is all the way down on the clutch, essentially pushing the clutch all the way as far as it can go in, all the way to the floor. Then what you're going to want to do is make yourself familiar with the shifter. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to notice is when the car is in neutral. In neutral, the stick shift's gonna be in the middle and you can actually wiggle it back and forth horizontally all the way across the gears. That way you know you are in neutral. If you're not in neutral and you try to wiggle it, you really, you know, it's gonna be pretty tight, you can't move it. Put it in the middle, give it a couple wiggles, you'll know it is in neutral. So, how to shift into first gear. All you're going to do is take your hand up, push over towards you, and push up. You don't have to really, you know, push hard or anything. It should be very easy, just nice and easy, over to the left, and then up. That's first. Now, when you want to shift into second, all you have to do is just keep a little bit of pressure towards you and shift back and pull down towards you, and that's that. You are now in second gear. When you want to go into third, this is the best way I know how to do this. You don't want to put any pressure on anything, you know, to the left, to the right. All you wanna do, let's say, put your hand flat and just push up. And it's gonna go right into third gear. Third gear is just perfectly forward. Now to put it into fourth gear, all you're gonna do is pull it to the back of the car. Again, making sure you're not going left or right since it is just straight up and straight down for third and fourth gear. Now for fifth gear, and if you have a sixth gear, all you wanna do is put a little pressure to the right and push it up to fifth gear. And same thing, just a little pressure, not too much, bring it down to six gear. And that is how you go through the gears on your car. Now, as I mentioned before, reverse might be a little di uh, different depending on what kind of car you have. You might either have to push down on it, go into reverse either to the left or to the right. You might have a part on the uh, shifter where you have to pick up and go into reverse. Or you might just have a five speed and you have to go uh, into your reverse gear, which might be sixth on mine, which is just over and back. So let's make sure we are on a flat surface so we can learn how to perfectly put the car into gear without stalling it. First, you're gonna wanna have your car started, of course, as we already do. You're gonna wanna put your foot down on the brake, and then you're gonna wanna put your clutch in. Now what we're gonna do that our foot is on the brake and our clutch is in, we're gonna wanna put it over and up to go into first gear. Remember I said that before. Now is the intimidating part, and that is when we're gonna start letting go of our clutch. Now, depending on who, you know, you might have told you how to drive, and some of the YouTube videos I've watched, people have said, that 
you have to rev the car up to get it into gear or, you know rev the car up to get it into gear now that is not how you want to learn okay so what you want to do is have your foot all the way down on the clutch have your car in first gear and then slowly let out the clutch what's going to happen is you're going to start to roll forward a little but you have to make sure that you have your foot all the way down on the clutch and you can let go of your brake as, at this point as well because we're going to start rolling forward so go ahead without putting any gas on let your foot off of the brake you shouldn't go anywhere because you're on a flat surface and we're going to want to let our foot slowly out and you're going to feel the clutch grab you're going to feel the engaging point of that clutch you're going to feel where it uh it starts to go into gear and that's essentially what you are doing this is really a perfect way to never stall a car when you're on a flat surface you do not want to you know ride the clutch out rev it rev the car up you don't want to put any gas on the car and you know rev the rpms up you're going to ruin the clutch that way you just want to get comfortable with letting the clutch out on its grabbing point, feeling that point that it grabs, feeling the point that it goes into gear, and of course getting used to your shifter. Once you do that a couple times, you should be getting ready to go into second gear. So make sure that you are comfortable getting into first gear first, because that is a very important thing to do, is know how to get into first gear. Now that you've learned how to properly get into first gear without stalling the car, letting that clutch out nice and slow, letting the car just roll into its gear without, you know, revving the car up like some people like to learn, just let the clutch easily out and you will easily get into that first gear. Now what we're going to do is get into second gear. So when to kind of, you know, when to shift into second gear. First gear is usually pretty short on a lot of cars. You're gonna to wanna to get going, you know, 10, 15 miles an hour or 2,500 to max three grand RPM if you're trying to drive like a normal citizen and go into second gear. So how to go into second gear is, while the car is moving, you wanna push your clutch to the floor, okay? And when it gets to the floor, you wanna keep the pressure towards you on the shifter and then pull back towards you and then you'll be in second gear. This is when you can let out the clutch in one nice sweeping motion. You don't want to let it out too slow or too fast. It's all going to be in one, you know, algorithm. That's really what this is. Clutch in, put it into second from first, and then clutch out. You really don't want to take too long because then your RPMs are going to drop too much and they're going to have to catch back up and you let the clutch out. And that, you know, might cause a little bit of a rocking. And you don't want to do it too fast because that's also going to be an uncomfortable shift as well. Just one nice solid fluid motion for every other gear that you want to go into. Again, shifting, you know, 2,500, between 2,500 and 3,500 RPM to keep that good gas mileage. So in this video, you have learned the components of a manual transmission car. You have your uh, stick shift, your shifter, and you have your clutch. You have also learned how to perfectly put the gear into first, put the car into first gear, and slowly let out the clutch to allow the car to catch into gear and start moving nice and slowly. Remember I said not to rev the car up too much, because when not to rev the car up at all, because that is actually what causes all the bounciness. If you just learn to slowly let out the clutch from the start without putting any gas on, chances are you're going to perfectly get into your first gear. You have also learned to switch into all of the other gears from learning the gate that I taught you in the beginning of the video, as well as learning how to shift from first to second, second to third, third to fourth, fourth to fifth, fifth to sixth. That is all the same in every gear. And that is by, in one nice smooth algorithm, putting your foot into the clutch, pulling it back to second and letting the clutch out nice and smoothly. That is definitely gonna take some time and practice. Now you're not gonna be able to drive a transmission perfectly right off the bat guys even me you know i didn't drive a transmission a manual transmission perfectly right off the start but as you practice just like anything else in this world if you want to get good at something you have to put in the time and practice and within just a couple days time you're going to be able to drive your car anywhere keep in mind we did learn on a flat surface so in the upcoming videos i will upload how to drive a manual transmission starting on hills guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video started to teach you you know get the gist of how to drive a manual transmission if you did learn something and i did teach you how to drive a manual transmission 
transmission. Please like, subscribe, leave your comment below on anything I could do a little bit better. And as always, have a great day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Run free and dive into the sky